Hello, I'm Dale, and today we're going to be talking about the customer support tool, Intercom. We're going to explore how you can use KPI dashboards to get more from your Intercom data. That includes how you can monitor your KPIs more easily, keep your team aligned, and respond to important issues faster. Then I'm going to explain step by step how you can create your own KPI dashboard for Intercom. Do I need an Intercom dashboard? If you use Intercom to manage your customer support, then you're probably already aware that you have a ton of reporting data you can use to improve your customer experience. These include Intercom's many out-of-the-box reports. And for many support teams, these native reporting tools will be enough. However, there are many instances in which you will also need a KPI dashboard tool like GeckoBoard to visualize your data. So what are a few of the scenarios? creating custom dashboard designs. It's true that Intercom does have the option to create custom reports. However, these are only available on the advanced pricing tiers and above. Even then, it can still be really beneficial to use custom dashboard designs to emphasize the metrics that you think are important. Not only can you do this with the design and layout of your dashboard, you can also use features like goals and status indicators to reinforce the targets and standards that you are aiming for, tracking multiple data sources. Many customer service teams need to keep track of metrics from multiple data sources. These might include tools like Jira, Klaus, Aircall, custom databases, spreadsheets, or even tools like Monday.com, Google Analytics, and Salesforce. The benefit of a KPI dashboard tool is that it can bring together metrics from multiple data sources into a single view, which is gonna save you time and effort. Sharing your KPIs. Metrics and KPIs are only useful if your team and your wider stakeholders actually have access to them. A KPI dashboard can radically increase the visibility of your key metrics, especially for stakeholders who don't have access to the Intercom platform. With Gecko Board, for example, you can display your dashboard permanently on a TV in the office, you can access your dashboards via mobile, and you can automate reports which are sent to email and Slack. So if any of these scenarios sound like you or your customer support team, then stick around because next I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how you can create a KPI dashboard using your intercom data. To start off, visit geckoboard.com and sign up for a 14-day free trial. Select intercom, choose any of the presets to get started, and then connect your intercom account. Once you've connected your account, it might take a few minutes to import your intercom data. But once that's finished, we're going to build our first widget. I'm going to start off by building a widget that visualizes our first response time in real time. I'm also going to set a status indicator, which is going to trigger every time our first response time breaches our standard of 10 minutes. I can also set up a notification, which will alert the team in Slack whenever this happens. This is really useful for aligning the team around the standards that you expect, and also reacting quickly whenever the situation changes. Next, I'm going to build a widget that shows the number of closed conversations this week. I'm also going to create a leaderboard that breaks down the number of closed conversations by agent. This can be a really powerful way of recognizing individuals and your team achievements. It's also helpful for building a sense of friendly competition. In a matter of minutes, I've added more intercom widgets to build up my dashboard. I've also included widgets from Google Analytics and Monday.com to complete the picture. Now, if I want to share this dashboard, I've got a few different options. Either I can invite teammates to view this dashboard or I can just create a sharing link and share this dashboard with whoever I want. I can also embed the dashboard into tools like Notion. If I want to display my dashboard on a TV, then the send to TV feature makes this really easy to set up. The dashboard looks great on a big screen and you can manage your screens and your loops of dashboards remotely. I can also automate my reporting so I can set up snapshots of this dashboard to be sent at regular intervals to email and Slack. With so many ways to share, your intercom KPIs are going to become unmissable. So there you go. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give us a like and a subscribe. Um, if you want to set up your own intercom dashboard, then just head over to geckoboard.com and you can try the product for free for 14 days. If you have any questions, just leave those in comments. And otherwise, I hope you have a great day. Oh,